Hello everyone, welcome to a new interview. We are glad to be at Foro Solar of UNEF. Uh, and I'm glad to talk with Walburga Hemetberger, who is CEO of Solar Power Europe. Walburga, welcome. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks a lot. I'm very happy to be here in a very vibrant uh, Foro Solar. Great to, to see you know, all the community coming together here in Spain. How does Solar Power Europe see the solar market energy here in Spain? So the Spanish market for the last couple of years has been one of the major, if not the major markets in Europe. Yes. It has been one of the drivers of growth of solar in Europe. Now, generally, you know that we had some stellar growth years in Europe over the last three years. And Spain was one of the main markets in the in the past. Uh, what about the challenges of solar energy in other uh, countries in Europe? Yeah, I mean the challenges are different in countries, but in the end they're all the same. So what we are lacking is the right infrastructure. We're lacking grids. We're lacking still a focus also on distributed grids and distributed and on the distributed system. Because in Brussels, I can tell you, uh, there's still too much focus on transmission grids. Yes. Rightly so. There not, there has to be focus on transmission grids. But the distribution side of things has been a little bit uh, put in the, in the drawer and it's getting out of that drawer now. So we've made sure that it is becoming a priority now. So grids is a, is an issue. But then, uh, above all, because grids that takes time, investments take time, we need to have much more flexibility in the system. So we need to have a lot of storage. Uh, we're talking about tenfold storage uh, numbers that we need to see until 2030, at least. A lot of storage, a lot of flexibility more generally. In the next one of the next sessions, we're going to talk about electrification. And we need to have a lot of flexible electrified demand coming from transport, coming from heat pumps, the heating sector, and above all, industry. So industry needs to move to an electric system. Uh, so that's the main things that we are looking into. Obviously, we need skilled workers. That's another area we're looking into. And one last thing I want to mention is regulatory stability. Yes. We need to make sure, and that has been, uh, you know, one of the priorities, I think, also in Spain, that we make sure that the market design is not changed, that we know what we're entering into. We give confidence to investors. So that needs to be preserved. There's some discussions at the moment in, in Brussels coming from energy intensive industries, suggesting that we need to have a different system in order to get electricity prices down. Our take is, you only have a win-win situation if you're continuing with the current market design, but if you add a lot of flexibility to the system because this is getting prices down and is getting uh, capture rates so what yes. uh, companies can earn and what investors can earn up, uh, and that's a, that's a nice equation. That's one of the priority, of course, the energy storage here in Spain. We're talking a lot of energy storage, not only for utility scale, also for uh, distributed generation. Uh, there are a lot of countries in Europe with a lot of energy storage systems installed, Germany, Italy. Uh, what do you think about the necessity of Spain to uh, integrate more more of that kind of uh, systems? What, what does Spain need? So I can only recommend Spain to follow these best practices. We've been showing those best practices and the evolution and, and forecasts in our latest storage report that everyone can find on our homepage, Solar Power Europe. Um, and, uh, and what it needs is the right incentives, the right regulatory framework for solar to thrive. We see that, for example, in a, in a country like UK, where utility scale storage is thriving because uh, storage is able to generate revenues. And that is the most important thing. So we need to have storage, participate in the market, generate revenues from the different services it can provide. Also make it easy to co-locate storage with solar, storage with solar and wind. You know, all these hybrid systems will be very important. Um, and we will be happy to share those best practices from the countries where we see them, um, obviously also with yeah. the Spanish government. That is one of the best options to share knowledge, uh, the experience between all the countries. Well, Burga, it has been a pleasure to meet you and to talk with you. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. If I can still say one thing, because we're going to uh, pull a highlight in solar and storage together with the new European commissioners and the new stakeholders in Brussels at our uh, Solar Power Summit. That is on the 26th and 27th of March. And I can only invite everyone to join us in Brussels for a big splash and a big event on that topic. We will be there. So thank you so much, Thank uh, you. Burga. Thank you.